good morning we are from SUS embedded the project title name is called touch screen home automation so in this project we are using an this is my app stack so in this project we are using an 889s52 microcontroller we are using it's an 8 bit microcontroller 40 pin IC so we are using an MCP3201 ADC successive approximation 12 bit ADC and we are using an 4 wire resistive touch screen we are using and one reset button and crystal 11.0592 megahertz crystal and we are using one power supply section and one bulb and one fan driver IC relay coil AC bulb and one driver IC DC fan so we are using an one AC bulb and one DC fan we can add more number of uh, devices also called two lights one fan three lights one fan four lights two fans that depends upon your requirement you can change the block diagram and the output units and this is my power supply section step down transformer bridge rectifier filter capacitor and 7805 regulator so these are my software units so kill software and isp programmer and these are my hardware components 89s52 microcontroller power supply driver ic one motor and driver ic one one relay coil so i am using an isp programming socket and four wire resistive touch screen i am using yeah let us coming into the hardware part we are using an transformer step down transformer 230 input step down transformer 12 volts output ac we are using 12012 center type of transformer but i am using only 012 so here i am connected to the bridge rectifier so four diodes one and four zero zero seven diodes this is a capacitor filter capacitor thousand microfarad by 25 volt electrolytic capacitor and here I am using an 17805 regulator, LM7805 regulator, LM national semiconductor 78 positive regulation, 05 5 volts constant pure DC output we are getting. And this is entire section is called power supply section. And here I am using an 889S52 microcontroller and it is an 8 bit microcontroller, total 40 pin IC, 4 ports, each port consists of 8 8 pin total 32 input output bidirectional port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 port 0 we are connected to the 16 cross 2 lcd display character lcd display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the lcd and port 1 cap 0 1 cap 1 1 cap 2 it is connected to the mcp 3208 adc mcp 3201 adc it is successive approximate 12 bit ADC. It is working under SPI protocol, serial peripheral interface, and it should be in fast. And it is connected to the touch screen. So it is a four wire resistive touch screen. It's a mobile touch screen. Uh, uh, it's costless touch screen. So easy to use and affordable cost around maybe 200 to 300 rupees. And we have a partition. In that partition, we are using a bulb one, bulb, bulb, and fan on off on off we are giving so here one cap 4 and one one cap 3 and one cap 4 we these two are the 10k resistors and one k resistor here 10k resistor one cap 3 and one cap 4 it is connected to the bc547 transistor npn transistor mainly we are using for the switching purpose called whether it should be an on and off means bc547 547 npn transistor called as a high current purpose we are using this so when we are going to operate the relay or the fan the microcontrollers they are having no currents we require some current to operate these two devices that's why we are using one dc bc547 transistor transistor will operate the output units and one transistor means bc the one cap 3 it is connected to the relay coil and relay is the spdt relay single pole double through relay and it should be an on or off purpose we are using and we are connected one ac bulb and here p1 cap 4 it is connected to the small dc motor it's an cw dc motor and where we are using means like a tv recorder means uh, uh, dvd players we are using like that here the small dc motor it will operate 5 volts only and it is operate 12 volt so that's why we are taking the transformer is 12 volts when the bridge rectifier converts the output voltage 12 volts dc now that dc 12 volts we are giving to the relay coil 
so here 9th pin is the reset pin and 11 and 18 and 19th it is connected to the crystal 11.0592 mega edge crystal p2 port i am not using p p3 port i am not using only p0 it is connected to the lcd p1 cap 0 1 cap 1 1 cap 2 1 cap 3 1 cap 4 that's it so we are using the outputs and he, this is the uh, socket called isp programming socket isp in system programming when we want to change the program onto the microcontroller using isp programmer that we are going to insert this and the program should be done through spa protocol now i am going to show the output so this is uh, touch screen based home automation home automation and the touch value should be displayed on the touch is zero means no touching is pressed so if you are going to press a touch bulb on means according to the output voltage that voltage should be displayed on lcd and the output voltage in between so this is a matrix box in that matrix box we are taking x1 y1 x2 y2 that the value of the box it should be displayed and the bulb should be on sorry fan on bulb on Okay. Mm. Bulb on, bulb off, fan on, fan off. Again, bulb on, fan on. Okay. Bulb off, fan off. Press it, press it, press it. 2 second press shell in the kind of value in between thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to as we are